What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how you can export all of your secret tokens from Authy. What does that mean? Well, if you're someone like me and you're using a program like KeyPass XC to not only store all of your passwords, but some two-factor for some websites as well, and you'd, let's say, maybe want to put it onto a second phone, a different app, etc, etc. Basically, with the secret token, you can regenerate the QR code that you used to scan in and get your two-factor on your phone, meaning you can put it on other apps, other devices, and other software, including KeyPass XC, which is my favorite open source password manager. Link to the guide in the description down below. Completely not sponsored, unbiased, I just love it. Anyways, how do we get all of our secret tokens and or generate the QR codes to add our already existing registered two-factor to different devices, different phones, etc.? To do this, it's relatively simple. Make sure that you have Authy installed on a device that you have access to. And if you place the password on your account, you will be asked for it later, though don't worry about that too much. What we're going to do is follow this open source guide that you can find in the description down below. Generating Authy passwords on other authenticators. Basically, what we're going to do is extract all of the secrets to use in a different software, etc, etc. The steps or everything are listed down here. Number one, simply install Authy on your desktop. Head across to authy.com slash download, select the version of Windows here, and click download. You can, of course, do this on Mac and Linux too, but I'll be doing this on Windows. So I selected Windows X64. I'll then download the installer and click on it to open it up when it's done. When you first open it up, you'll see a screen as such. What you need to do is enter a country and a phone number here and log into your account. You can choose between existing device, SMS, and something else. So I clicked existing device, I'll log in on my phone, put in my password, and from the drop down, I'll be asked to accept or deny, to which I'll click accept, type OK, hit OK, and now our device has been approved in Twilio Authy. Once that's happened, you should see all of your accounts here and your two-factor as usual. Now, while you would be able to click on these and view your password for any account, if you do see a lock next to any of the entries here, you'll have to click on an entry and you'll be asked for a password for your encrypted backup. This is where the password I mentioned earlier comes in handy. You'll need to enter it here and click decrypt account. After entering the correct password, you should be able to generate tokens right out of your computer here. And if we head back, that lock icon should no longer be visible. Awesome. At this point, we need to close out of Authy on our computer and look for the shortcut on our desktop. When you do find the icon on your desktop, right click and click properties and we'll return to this window in just a moment. Heading back to the GitHub guide, you'll see the next step. Restart Authy desktop, but add this following line in the command line. Hyphen hyphen remote hyphen debugging hyphen port equals 5858. Copy this bit of text, head across to the end of the target Hit space, paste as such. So you'll have .exe, close quotes, space. Then that code that we just copied, click apply, OK, and open up Authy once again. Now, this time you won't notice anything different, but if we head across to our browser, you'll see the next step is to simply open localhost 5858 in our browser. When we do so, you should see a window that looks like this. As long as a third-party firewall, antivirus, or other software isn't blocking it, and the program opened properly. If you see this, awesome. Simply click Twilio Authy at the very top, and you'll see the same window that you see in your windows over here. You can scroll up and down and interact with it as usual. Now, of course, unfortunately, I will have to do a lot of blurring for this next step, but you'll see why in just a moment. On the right hand side, you'll see something that looks similar to this. Simply grab it and expand it sideways, then head across to application at the very top. Then on the left hand side in this sidebar, look for frames followed by top, which you can then expand, right click main.html here, and then click open in containing folder. Then the console should pop up from the bottom. I simply crashed it down, so I'll pull it up once again. And inside of here, we'll be entering some text. Heading back to the GitHub page, scrolling down a bit more, you find a huge block of text here that we'll simply select and right-click copy from the very start of a hymn to the very end here. Come back to the website and paste it into the console. And at the very bottom, you'll see hyphen hyphen console.save 
data or the backup.json. If you'd like to save the file separately, which I'd recommend, remove the two hyphens at the very start of that last line and then hit enter. Then very shortly after, you'll see a large number of QR codes show up in the console section here, which you can scan and use on any device, followed by a long string, including a secret token, etc, etc. These are everything we need to know in order to migrate to different platforms and of course scan it into a different code generating platform, things like that. Because we chose to uncomment the last line, if we head across to our downloads folder or wherever you chose to save it to, you'll see a new authy backup.json file and inside of it a large amount of text once again, including names, secrets and URIs, which is effectively what we have in the console over here. Now of course these aren't QR codes, but if you're looking for just the secret from these accounts over here, this is everything you need to know. You can successfully move it to any other authenticator app, either by scanning these newly generated QR codes, which should be very similar, if not exactly the same to the ones that you got on the original websites when you added the account to Authy, and they should work with most other platforms. But besides those special platforms that have direct integration with Authy, anything else that you could use with any other platform should work correctly, of course. That's really about it. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobe here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.